Hi all, welcome back to Dr. Coder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I am doing ICD video Neoplasm chapter. I have already done part 1 of this chapter. So if you haven't watched that video means you can see that first and then see this. Okay. So the next guideline of neoplasm is anemia associated with chemotherapy, immunotherapy and radiation therapy. So in previous video I have said about one guideline about anemia. Right. What was that? Anemia as a complication of neoplasm. Okay. But in this guideline this is anemia as a complication of the treatment procedures of neoplasm that is anemia as a complication of chemotherapy, immunotherapy and radiation therapy. As you all know uh, the treatment procedures of neoplasm include chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiation therapy and surgery. So when anemia comes as a result as, as an adverse effect of chemo or radiation or immunotherapy means how you have to sequence. The first code should be the code for anemia. Okay, that means if anemia occurs uh, as an adverse effect of chemotherapy means your first code should be anemia due to antineoplastic chemotherapy code. Okay, and the second code should be neoplasm code and the third code should be adverse effect code. That is, if it is the adverse effect of chemo or immuno means your code will be T45.1X5 and if it is the adverse effect of radiation therapy means your third code will be Y84.2. Okay, so what is the condition here? Anemia should occur as an adverse effect of chemotherapy or immunotherapy or radiation therapy. Okay, then the next one, management of dehydration due to malignancy. Uh, this guideline also I have already discussed in the previous video that when you have any complication associated with neoplasm and you comes for the treatment of complication, what is the sequencing? The sequencing comes as first the complication and then the neoplasm code. Right. Here dehydration is one of the complications of malignancy. So, the same guideline applies here. First, you have to code for the dehydration that is the complication and second, neoplasm code. Next one is primary malignancy previously excised. That is, patient have a particular malignancy and that malignancy is removed or excised. Okay, or surgery is performed on that particular malignancy. Okay, and now after the surgery and all, after the removing the malignancy, patient comes to hospital. Okay, in here two cases occur. First one is, there is no evidence of any existing malignancy currently and no treatment further going for the particular cancer. Okay, the cancer is, the malignancy is removed and all the treatment procedures are completed. Means, you have to give the code of personal history of malignant neoplasm that is Z85 code. That is the first case. And the second condition is uh, patient had a primary malignancy. The malignancy is removed. Patient now comes to hospital and in that time uh, an extension or metastasis is seen. In that case that metastasis portion is coded as secondary malignancy. Okay, then also you have to give Z85 code in order to indicate that the patient is having a primary his personal history of primary malignancy. Okay, so if no extension or metastasis means give Z85 code. If extension or metastasis is there means give uh, the secondary malignancy as the first code and then Z85. Next guideline is admission or encounter involving chemotherapy, immunotherapy and radiation therapy. Uh, this chemotherapy, immunotherapy and radiation therapy uh, all comes under the treatment procedures of malignancy, right? So, patient comes to hospital for treatment of malignancy. Now, what you have to code? First, you have to give one Z51 code. Z51 code in order to indicate that uh, this visit is for chemo or immuno or radiation therapy. 
Okay, if it is for chemotherapy means you have to give Z51 code for N count of antineoplasty chemotherapy. Similarly, if it is for radiation therapy means you have to give one code from Z51 series to indicate N count for radiation therapy. Like that, that should be the first code and second code should be the neoplasm code. For what malignancy or seeking treatment means that should be the second code. Okay, the next one episode of care involves surgical care of neoplasm. So, you all know, apart from this chemo, immuno and radiation therapy, surgery is also a treatment of malignancy. Right. So, if patient comes for the surgical removal means, what you have to code? There is no code for encounter for surgery. So, the first code is code of neoplasm. Okay. If it is chemo means, first code is Z51 code. If it is radiation therapy means, first code is Z51. If it is immunotherapy also, first code is Z51. If it is surgery means, the first code is neoplasm code itself. Okay. Next one. Patient admitted for chemotherapy, immunotherapy or radiation therapy and develops complication during the same visit. That is, for example, patient comes to hospital for chemotherapy. Okay, and in the same visit, patient develops uh, nausea or uh, patient had severe vomiting. Then what is the coding sequence? The first code should be the encounter code only. Uh, if it is chemotherapy means the first code should be encounter for antineoplastic chemotherapy Z51 code only. And the second code is the complication code. Okay, so if patient is having uh, nausea during the same visit means the second code should be the code for nausea. Okay, the next one is admission or encounter to determine extent of malignancy or for procedures like parasendesis, thoracendesis. That is if the reason for admission is to uh, determine the extent or how, how much the malignancy has spread. Or for procedures like parasynthesis, thoracynthesis. These terms are given in the chart means your first code should be, your primary code should be neoplasm itself. Even in the same visit chemotherapy is performed, then also your first code should be neoplasm code. Okay. Next one. Disseminated malignant neoplasm. What is the meaning of disseminatedness? Disseminated means extensively spread or widely spread. That is the meaning of disseminated. Right. So, if the condition is disseminated malignant neoplasm or it can be also termed as carcinomatosis. If in your documentation it is given as carcinomatosis means then you can give code C80.0. Then there is no primary, secondary um, also no importance for that. Then your code is C80.0. Okay. The next one malignant neoplasm without specification of site. Here. If, if in the documentation it is like uh, malignant neoplasm of an unknown source like primary source is unknown or something like that then you can give as C80.1 that is malignant primary neoplasm unspecified if the site is not specified then you can give as C80.1. Okay, so hope you all understood this video and as well as part 1 of the neoplasm. Uh, keep supporting. If you haven't sub subscribed my channel means please subscribe and watch. Thank you.